I'm Peter Brown, and you're watching a Football Miami TV special report. The Miami FC have left NISA and joined the USL Championship. Miami FC has acquired the franchise rights for Ottawa Fury FC. Basically, they bought Ottawa Fury, who suspended operations for the 2020 season back in November, and are rebranding to Miami FC. Buying Ottawa was done to fast track Miami's way into the league. Since joining the NASL, Miami FC have been battling the U.S. soccer system. After the demise of the NASL, they were part of a lawsuit against MLS and U.S. soccer, claiming that they conspired to harm the NASL by demoting it to Division III and raising USL to Division II, forcing the NASL to shut down. Then they filed a claim with the Court of Arbitration for Sport, along with Stockade FC, to require USF to adopt promotion and relegation across all divisions in U.S. soccer. Both lawsuits have gone nowhere. Miami FC owner Ricardo Silva even tried to uh, buy his way into MLS by making a $4 billion bid for 10 years of MLS's global media rights. MLS rejected the bid. So in a classic, if you can't beat them, join them situation, Miami FC realizes in order to make changes in the system, they need to be part of the system. Fight the good fight from within is the best way forward. For Miami FC faithful like supporters Dade Brigade, this is amazing news. They are back in a reputable sanctioned league that consists of 36 teams. Old rivalries will be renewed with the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Since USL partnered with Major League Soccer, they have become a thriving, stable second division a league that is often used as a launching pad for MLS. Of course, Miami FC, they need the league not for a launching pad, but for survival. We recently had the chance to sit down with Paul Daglish, who was the Miami FC head coach at the time and is now president and general manager. Paul was most passionate about teaching and spreading the love for soccer throughout Miami and beyond making the beautiful game accessible for all, regardless of their skill level. I urge you to go back and watch that candid interview. We'll put a link in the notes down below, and also we'll put a link uh, in the uh, note somewhere up top here. You'll see a little eye. In order for the team and the academy to survive and grow, they need to be in a stable and growing league. A league that can, fans can be proud to compete in, and a league that they know will be around in the future. Surviving in South Florida with Inter Miami in the same town will be tough for sure. But if Miami FC have any chance, the USL Championship is their best option. The US Open Games will be a blast. I cannot wait. Miami FC will once again call Ricardo Silva Stadium home starting in March for 17 home games. Miami FC have won a lot of trophies throughout the lower U.S. soccer leagues over the years. Now, the USL Championship will be their next opportunity to lift a trophy. This time, Miami FC will be led by former Tampa Bay Mutiny and Miami Fusion player Nelson Vargas. Vargas thought his first year as head coach was going to be Anissa. But now, he got a nice promotion into a bigger and more competitive league that adds a little more pressure. Good luck, Nelson, and congratulations to Miami FC for making a smart move. Dade Brigade, have some fun next year and bring the atmosphere in 2020. Hey, if you liked this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.